In today's uproarious yarn of comedic genius, get ready for a tornado through a rib-tickling, side-splitting, laugh-out-loud funny story joke that guarantees to have you doubled over with laughter. Get set for a rollicking journey into this hilarious and amusing tale. There was an uncle, let's call him Marvin, who slowly started to realize his wife, Agnes, was waging a war on his taste buds and waistline. Remember Marvin? The guy who used to wake up to a steaming mug of coffee now faced a cup of green tea so green it could win an award for most likely to make you look like Shrek. Even the cat wouldn't touch the stuff. Breakfast used to be a glorious mess of crumble pap and leftover meat. Now, gluten-free biscuits that even the family cockatiel eyed with suspicion. Lunch was a hearty bready, a South African stew that warmed your soul. Now, powdered eggs that tasted like sadness in a cup. Marvin felt like he was being slowly whittled down, one healthy bite at a time. Then, salvation or so he thought arrived. A phone call from a buddy about a hunting trip. This was Marvin's chance to escape Agnes's health crusade. He grabbed his hunting gear, scribbled a hastily written, I love you, on the toilet paper because, apparently, love notes weren't part of the new health plan, and bolted. The hunting trip was a carnivore's dream. Fatty meats so tough they could blunt a diamond, mountains of sausage that left his mouth glistening like a disco ball in a heat wave. Marvin reveled in the greasy, glorious freedom. He ate enough to feed a small village, his stomach becoming a battlefield with every bite. Ten days later, Marvin returned home a changed man. Well, a wider man. Bending over to tie his shoes became an Olympic event, a battle between his gut and his limited flexibility. He knew he needed a plan, and fast. But this uproarious comedy ain't over. Desperate, Marvin flipped through Agnes's magazines, his eyes landing on an ad. Lose 11 pounds in five days. Canadian approved. This was it. He ripped out the page, dialed the number, and a friendly voice answered. Hello, this is the Canadian approved diet service. How can I help you lose weight, eh? Marvin explained his situation and the voice continued. This is a simple plan, eh? Pay $12 and we'll send you a diet packet within 48 hours. Guaranteed results. Two days later, the doorbell rang. Marvin opened the door, expecting a pamphlet or maybe a motivational poster. Instead, a stunning woman with a figure that could launch a thousand ships stood before him. If you can catch me. She winked. I'm yours. And with that, she bolted. Marvin, fueled by a combination of surprise and newfound motivation, chased after her like a man possessed. He ran through the house, down the street, his lungs burning, his legs screaming in protest. Five days later, Marvin had shed 11 pounds. He was a changed man, again, this time for the better. He could eat somewhat normally again, and his taste buds weren't permanently assaulted by green tea. Two weeks flew by, and the weight loss bug bit Marvin again. He called the service, the woman reappeared, another chase ensued, and another 15 pounds vanished. The cycle continued, yet this funny story ain't done. Every time a vacation or special event loomed, Marvin dialed the number. But this time, things took a turn. The doorbell rang, and instead of a beautiful woman, a giant, muscle-bound man with a scowl that could curdle milk stood there. If I catch you, he growled, you're mine. Marvin, his eyes widening in horror, took off like a rocket. He ran faster than he ever thought possible, fueled by pure terror. Five days later, Marvin was a shadow of his former self, and he lost 28 pounds. <laughs> If you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.